Is it strange that my vlog always starts from my kitchen? <laughs> hey everybody, if uh, something is different, uh, 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 what do you mean? <laughs> yes, something is different. I have dyed my hair. If you didn't know this and you're shocked as this is the opening scene of this vlog, uh, the opening clip of this vlog, um, I dyed my hair. It also means that you do not follow me on my social media. Why? Why aren't you following me on my social media? I just got back from the shops. Uh, follow me for, on my social media because the day I put a picture of myself up or a, a snap of myself up and, you know, with the new hair and whatever, I think it was two days after I had gotten it done. So, um, it's, it's been another two days. This vlog is actually starting quite late this week, um, Friday. I normally start this vlog on a Wednesday or what have you, but I, I, I had a busy week. I was at the office pretty much all week. And then when I came back home, I worked. So I had a busy week. I just didn't really have the time. Um, but anywho, I was actually just reading the comments on my latest vlog that uh, came out. And um, I saw one of our fellow members, fellow members of the JK fam, um, has finished reading The Silent Patient. I'm so glad that when I talk about books, uh, because I feel like, let me just lower you guys. Um, I'm so glad when I talk about books because I feel like for some people books work, for some people they don't work. Actually, where is the holder for my AirPods? Because I need to take these out. For some people books work and then uh, for some people, some people, they're just not readers, right? But I talk about things that I love on my channel and reading right now is definitely one of them. Um, so I, I love to see people commenting saying that I'm starting reading because of you or blah, 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 or you make me want to read and what have you. Like, it's cool. If you read, you read. If you don't read, it's cool too. It's not a big deal. Um, I just got back from the shops. I had to go buy my favorite bread, which is the Sasko Low GI Cranberry uh, low GI dumpy cranberry brown bread. <laughs> um, I absolutely love it. And I also got, I think two or three comments from different people saying that they've tried out this bread and they love it. It is so good. It's good when it's, to cause it's got like real cranberries. It's like got cranberries in the bread. And then when you toast it, the cranberries are sweet. So when you toast it and then, oh, that's it. That's it. But now is breakfast. I haven't eaten. Um, now is breakfast. I haven't eaten. And I'm definitely just going to keep it light and simple. I'm going to have two slices of toast. I'm a toast lover. Uh, I'm going to have two slices of toast and have a coffee. And possibly work or possibly read. Um, in the last vlog, I told you about this book, Yagiyasi. And I said that the author is from Nigeria. I lied. The author is from Ghana. I apologize for that, and I'm rectifying it now. Um, um, I finished reading. I feel like my home vlogs are going to be about books and whatever. Oh, my God. I just, I can't. I finished reading Hunger by Roxane Gay. Now, if you are somebody who's always had body image issues, if you are somebody who's always, you know, just had concerns about your weight and, and, and you know, what society feels about people of a certain size and whatever, and just body image issues, you will love this book. Um, and I spoke about this one in the last vlog, but I actually, actually started reading it yesterday. And I am 70, there's my bookmark. So cool, right? Right? And I am 70 pages in, and what a pleasure it is to read this book. So well written, pacing itself quite well. Uh, I was struggling a little bit because there's a lot of characters that you get introduced to from the jump. A lot of characters. Ifia, Essi, Kujo, Kwei, Nes. It's just a lot of characters, but it's a great book. So far, I'm loving it. I feel like, I don't know, 
Do I watch a bit of TV? Do I work? Do I read? But it's going to be a very cold weekend in Johannesburg. It's actually starting to be quite nippy. Yeah. Very cold, like cold, recorded history cold. Okay. So, um... I just, I just might spend this, the weekend just reading. Um, yeah, so I'm going to make breakfast. Oh, another thing I wanted to show you guys. This is what I found at my local spa. These are the Samyang noodles that everybody's been doing. The, the, the hot noodles blah, 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 challenge and whatever spicy noodle challenge. I found them just randomly. I always go to the Thai section. Thai section, the Asian section of uh, my spa because I'm always running out of, I don't know, some sort of sauce, teriyaki sauce, I'm always running out of the sauce or uh, miso paste or something. I'm always running out of something, okay? And as I'm busy looking there, looking there at the bottom cups and I'm like, you're kidding me. I'm not gonna do the challenge per se and do a, a whole entire video like for the challenge, but I will try them out on on here. I will try them out in this vlog and we can see how it goes. I'm probably not gonna last. I am very bad with things that are hot, hot, but no harm in trying because I've heard that they are really, really good. blind. <laughs> So it's a different day. Um, yesterday, I was in the flow. I was like, okay, I'm gonna record today. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And my sister ended up arriving within 30 minutes after I started recording that whole toast scene and everything. And my sister stayed until about nine, or half past nine actually, around half past nine, 10. Um, so I didn't end up recording for the rest of the day, um, uh, but I'm back now and can I tell you Let me actually flip you over because you need to see my face for this temperature outside is 11 degrees Celsius <laughs> I don't know in Fahrenheit what that is, but it's 11 degrees Celsius I actually came upstairs to get my sweater because best believe bet your bottom dollar I'm going to wear my sweater. I went outside to take the trash out and wow 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 it was so cold so cold so i actually came upstairs to pick up my sweater i came in here to actually get her and her and her and her i was watching youtube videos this morning while in bed Okay, so let me wear the sweater. Um, when the weather is normally like this, I am big on having candles all up in my house because I love me some candles. Love to, um, you don't switch them on, you light up. I love to light up the candles and get comfortable and get cozy. Um, I'm probably gonna spend most of the day reading I'm not gonna lie to you. Since I started um, home going, I haven't touched it. I didn't give, I didn't get a chance to touch it yesterday because I was with my sister all day. Uh, the sun is is playing mad games right now. I don't know what it's trying to do. Uh, I I really don't know what the sun is trying to do. It was dark as hell, like an hour ago. It was black out here, and now suddenly the sun is out. I don't know. Uh, it's crazy, eh? The sun is uh, it's a little bit nuts. So I'm pretty much going to spend most of the day um, reading. <sighs> There's some things that I might have to do work-related, but I, I need to decide. Do I want to read today and maybe work tomorrow on Sunday? 
uh, whatever. I don't know. I, I, I might not. I um, heard some really bad news this morning, so I feel like I just want to read. It's also one of the other reasons why I've got candles uh, lit up all up in my house. Um, yeah, did hear some really, really bad news this morning. So, before I go, I will come back in later and show you what I'm preparing for lunch. Um, right now, I'm pretty much just going to make um, oats, which is normally what I make. Uh, right now, I'm going to go feed the birds. I normally feed the birds if I'm home uh, all day. I feed the birds in the morning. I've got some bird seed. This is bird seed in the kitchen. Got some bird seed. And I love to just see the birds like playing around in the grass there and eating and messing with one another. I really enjoy seeing the birds in, in my yard. <laughs> I enjoy seeing them. So... I'm going to feed them. I do this every single morning. I've been doing this for about uh, two weeks now. And yeah, it makes me feel good. So let's do that. It is pretty much dinner time. Um, I've literally been reading for most of the day. And then I took a little bit of a break and I watched Family Guy and tried to relax a little bit. It is dinner time now, so I'm going to prepare that little mincemeat, noodles, egg, Asian, what what with a little bit of teriyaki sauce. And that's, that's the easiest thing to make for me right now because... Um, that's what I have and yeah, it's quick. So I'm going to prepare that right now show you how I do it The mince is already done. I'm literally warming it up on the stove top now. Let me show you so That's the mince right there. I'm pretty much warming it up I just switched on the so stove. the noodles that I'm going to use are these ones. These are the Woolies whole wheat noodles, but you can pretty much find these noodles anyway. Um, the reason why I love these is because you can see that they're segmented um, so you can pull out one for each person, like one portion per person. Um, so normally when there's two of us or three of us at home, then I'll use three. If it's just me, then I'll use one. So what I do is I take it out and I put it in a plate like so. So for me, I never, since I familiarized myself with making Asian stuff, Asian cooking and all of that, I never cook my noodles in a pot on the stove. It's very, very rare. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But what I do is I just spice up by adding some pepper in here. And I put in some salt. This, this is for seasoning. And then, lastly, two things. I pour in some teriyaki sauce. Watch what's going to happen. Just pour in some teriyaki sauce and a little bit of... I'm just opening this up again because it's a fresh bottle. So, am I excited? Of course I am. Adding in a little bit of oyster sauce. Like a smidgen. Literally a smidgen. Okay. After that, I pour in some hot water, cover the noodles up like so. There we go. They're all covered. We're going to drain some of that water out, not all of it. And then on the timer, hey Siri, mm -hmm. set the timer for seven minutes, please. Okay, seven minutes and counting. All right. Thank you. So we've got um, Siri counting down for us seven minutes. And then at the end of seven minutes, I'm going to drain this water. The noodles will be... Oh, I can already smell the aromas. The noodles will be ready at that point. They're not going to be too soft. Um, and they're not going to... They're just going to be nice and firm, which is how I like them. Um, and then in between that seven minutes, I'll just keep... Uh, pulling them apart like so. Right. 
So I've drained out all the water. It's seven minutes later, waiting for the egg. And then I'm ready to pretty much dish up. So yeah. All right, so then what I do is the egg is almost ready. I like the egg um, still a little bit wet and runny on the inside, especially when I'm preparing a dish like this. And what I do is add the mince. The mince does have some um, julienne vegetables mixed into it, which is pretty much like a little bit of pumpkin there, green beans, what have you. And I just sort of add the mince on top like so. There we go. And then, uh-oh, I stabbed the yolk. Oh, this is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. There we go. Sufficient. Still got a bit of yolk left in there, which is fine. Let's drizzle a little bit more of that teriyaki. Ooh, sauce. Now I need on top. And then I... And then I follow with my spring onions. Lots of them. Okay, good to go. So that's pretty much how it looks. The plate is a little bit messy on the sides, which I typically hate, but today I really couldn't care less. Sometimes if I want it to be a little bit more spicy, I'll add like um, red pepper sauce or I'll add some sriracha, but I don't feel like having it spicy today. So it's cool, we'll leave it at that. And then taste test. Ooh, steaming like crazy. It's good. Oh, hey. Woo. The girl's looking kind of light today. Um, it is a new day. It's a different day. Um, it is no longer yesterday. It is now today. <laughs> Look at my tripod at the back there. So, um, this morning when I woke up, I went to go see my family. What I do is, and of course I wasn't going to vlog that. What I normally do is, if I see a friend, or if I see somebody who's not, you know, part of my family, like a friend or whatever, and I see them, I try to stay here, home, isolated for at least 7 to 10 days before I go to my family. Um, because I don't know what I could potentially carry or take away from being with my friends oh, i try to wait it out and stay by myself for about seven to ten days to just make sure that i'm okay and i'm not sick and all of that jazz hoo-ha and then i go and see my family because the last thing i would want to do is risk infecting my family with whatever it is that i may have that i may be asymptomatic you know you know that kind of thing so um so it had been over seven days and then i thought okay let me go see my family uh i went to go see them spent about two hours with my family and then i came back but yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna relax a little bit and then the next time you see me oh i want to show you the status of my plants but the next time you see me um we'll be tasting the samyang noodles okay Okay, okay, so I wanted to show you the status of my guest bathroom. So we're in my guest bathroom now, and I wanted to show you my plants. So what happens is when it gets really, really cold, this plant is in such bad shape because um, the lady who works here, every time she would... Uh, but it's coming back. It's coming back. I'm so stressed about this plant. It's actually... Look at that. Look at that, it's coming back. Yay. Yay, that's good. Um, she used to put this plant out in the sun and you can't put the plant out in direct sunlight. So it kind of burnt um, some of the leaves a little bit. But fortunately, just about three or four of them and not all of them, um, uh, most of them still look pretty good. And they're shiny, they look healthy. So it's, it's coming back slowly. But I have to water them pretty much every day. 
Um, so what I do is because the weather is quite just put a towel down there because the weather is quite cold outside I try not to take my plants out outside it's so cold over the last two days it's been ridiculous like 10 degrees and minus one in the middle of the night and whatever it's been really cold so I don't take them out and water them outside in fact I just water them in my shower so I rotate them over three or four days I'll rotate, take those ones out, put them here, take these ones, put them back inside and try and feed them as much water as possible. This one is also coming back. This plant was in such bad shape, but now I can see that the green is coming back. It's looking so pretty. Thank you, babies. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And then, of course, in here, these ones still have water on them as you can see um i'm a little concerned one of my favorite youtubers she's got about two million subscribers is emmy from emmy made in japan she tastes different food she eats like bugs and stuff and blah blah she was one of the very first people yeah um she was one of the very first people who tasted the samyang two times hot noodles and she cried in that video and for me i'm not too big on spicy foods i'm really not crazy about it and now i don't want to waste food <laughs> so i've got them but i feel like i will probably add half the sauce instead of the full thing because i'm i'm, I'm quite concerned because i do want to enjoy them but at the same time i'm just like uh yeah but i ain't trying to burn my mouth off i i'm really not it's probably still going to be quite hot for me um so i might not even get through all of them but i'm really keen on tasting them because apparently they are really good news. i have got some milk here and a little bit of a mason jar that's a lot of milk for me um <laughs> i'm a little bit i'm just wiping down the strainer quickly um so yeah i'm a little bit nervous that's that's a lot of milk for me i probably won't get through all that milk so next is a fork not keen on using my chopsticks today I am nervous. All right, so let's start with the sauce. <laughs> so nervous. I'm ex. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. <coughs> okay. I think we're better. Yeah, I poured a little bit more than half. So let me just, uh, just. Oh my God! You can actually smell that. But it smells so good. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess everywhere. There's still some of this sauce left in here. It smells so good. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I poured a little bit more. A little bit more. I'm like way over half, okay? I've poured like 70% of this in here. And then you can pour in the sesame. Yeah, definitely sesame seeds and nori in there. Nori is uh, seaweed. In case they didn't know, I'm sure you all knew that. Uh, oh my god, this smells so strong. <coughs> oh my goodness, this smells so strong. I'm scared. I'm legit scared. I'm gonna taste this. <laughs> Quick, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I am so, so nervous. All right, let's taste this. <laughs> Your fuck ever have a fuck. Ah, I know the heat hits you. The heat hits you the moment it hits your lips and your tongue. Oh my god. But they are so good. Yo, they're so good. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. That calms everything down for a bit. Oh, but they're so good. They, they force you to, you know, want to go in there, you know? <laughs> oh! But they're really good. 
good. Like you, you wanna keep. Oh, fuck. It's so good. <clears throat> My nose is already starting to water, and I'm like three, three, three things. <laughs> The heat is good. The heat is good. The milk calms it down instantly. But you can feel it on the... And as soon as the milk goes down, you can feel it on your lips. Your tongue on the inside of your lips. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Hi, my tot. Hi, my tot. Hi. Mm -mm. They're so good. I'm going to buy more of them. Tomorrow, I'm going to a spa and I'm picking up more for those days when you just feel like you need a spicy kick. Mm hmm. But wow. All I can say is Samyang. Okay? They ain't playing. They ain't playing. Wow. 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 Okay. I'm going to go. I'm going to end off this vlog here can't feel my fucking lips and i'll see you guys in the next video bye